going to start out by relating a story to you about a teacher. Her name is Bonnie Lathrum, and um, you can find her article in the Huffington Post in February of 2015, and it's entitled, Parent Involvement in School Matters. Bonnie taught 11th and 12th grade, and she happened to be having a conversation with one of her students um, in the afternoon before the weekend, and he just mentioned to her that her, uh, or that his mom was getting out of jail. And he mentioned that he didn't have much of a relationship with her, but um, that he was going to visit. They were going to meet, and he was going to visit with her. Well, the Lincoln passes by, and um, Bonnie meets with this boy on, on, on Monday, runs into him, and asks him, so how did it go? And he said, she didn't show up. And Bonnie noted that mom didn't show up, but dad did show up. Dad showed up to be involved in many things at school. He showed up to be involved in this boy's education. He showed up to be there for grades. He showed up to be there to support other students as a mentor. He showed up. He, um, he not only showed up to be involved in this young man's life, but to be involved in his learning and his education. Parental involvement promotes learning. I would like to tell you three ways that this can be accomplished. Number one, parental involvement at home reinforces daily learning. Number two, parental involvement in the school encourages social development. And number three, parental involvement promotes self-esteem. Let's start with number one. Parental involvement at home reinforces daily learning. On the U.S. Department of Education website, in a brochure titled, Helping Your Child with Homework, there's a quote by President w. Bush, George W. Bush. And he says, if you expect your child to be well-educated, you have the responsibility of making sure your child gets educated. Start at home with some basic fundamentals. At kidshealth.org, there's an article authored by Dr. Uh, Stephen Gaushin in September of 2013, and it's titled, Helping Your Grade Schooler with Homework. Parents can give kids lots of homework help, primarily by making homework a priority and helping them develop good study habits. Focus on helping kids develop the problem-solving skills they'll need to get through this assignment and many others, and offer your encouragement as they do. They'll develop confidence and love of learning from the doing it themselves. I interviewed Janet Curlin. She's a, a friend of mine, and she also works at um, Stemville Elementary School, um, Reading Elementary, some of you may know that. Um, and she is, teaches fifth grade, and this is what she had to say um, concerning this, this idea. As a teacher, I have found that students who know they will be accountable to their parents at home for what happens at school are more successful. Students whose parents check to make sure their child is completing assignments and studying for tests are far more likely to complete assignments in class and generally seem to do better on tests. So we can see that parental involvement at home reinforces daily learning. But not only do parents need to be involved at home, they need to be involved in their child's classroom as well and in their school. Which takes me to my next point. Parental involvement in school encourages social development. On the Center for Public Education website, in a study done by Johnson and Depp in 2003, we find this statistic. Parents' involvement can make a difference in a child's education. Two-thirds of teachers surveyed believed that their student would perform better in school if their parents were more involved in their child's education. While 72% of parents say children of uninvolved parents sometimes fall through the cracks in the schools. In a study published in 2013 titled Parental Involvement in Schools by Noel, Stark, Redford, and Zuckerberg, we gained this insight. Students with parents who are involved in their schools tend to have fewer behavioral problems and better academic performance. And at PBS.org, in an article, The Role of Parents by Dalton Miller Jones, we read, we are our children's learning models. Our attitudes about education can inspire theirs and show them how to change, take charge of their own educational journey. So in these three supports, we see social development, we see positive behavior, and we see responsibility towards education. All of these affirm that parental involvement in school encourages social development. My third point is parental involvement promotes self-esteem. In the book, An Educator's Guide to Conflict Resolution by Joy Klepfer, we learn research reveals that high, high self-esteem and student achievement are closely related to positive parental involvement in school. When parents get involved at school, it can be a motivating factor to the child. It tells the child that parents think that school is important. And at VeryWell.com, in an article by Rebecca Frazier Bill, and you can find that in June 2014, she writes, parent involvement in education fosters kids' self-esteem. Children with involved parents also have enhanced skills for regulating emotions and feel negative emotions less often. Referring back to my interview with Janet Crowley, um, the teacher at Reading Elementary, she says, for the most part, I think that parental involvement promotes self-esteem because it helps children feel supported and important. 
Parental involvement promotes self-esteem. In the last few minutes, I've shown you how, number one, parental involvement at home reinforces daily learning. Number two, parental involvement in the school encourages social development. And number three, parental involvement promotes self-esteem. In closing, let's remember that dad in the opening story and how he did show up to be involved in his son's education. Parental involvement promotes learning. Thank you.